And welcome back to Newsmax Now. I'm Miranda Kahn. A new report claims when Ronald Reagan was president, he was packing. Author Brad Meltzer writes in the New York Daily News that he was told by the Secret Service that Reagan carried his own gun. Meltzer says it was a 38 that he carried in his briefcase. Rachel Dozal, the NAACP leader who stepped down amid questions about her race, has broken her silence. She did it on the Today Show. She says despite the fallout of the last few weeks, uh, she would not change any of her choices. I, I did feel that at some point I would need to address the complexity of my identity. I identify as black, and this goes back to a very early age with my self-identification with the black experience. Um, as, as a very young child. When did it start? I would say uh, about five years old. You began it, identifying yourself as African American? I, I was drawing self portraits with the brown crayon instead of the peach crayon and the black, you know, black curly hair and, you know, yeah. And Dozal says she began identifying black, as you just heard, at a very early age. Now, in other news, two large wildfires in Alaska are threatening hundreds of homes. Mild weather and the same lack of snow that forced the Iditarod to move are being blamed for helping to fuel those fires. The Chicago Blackhawks are the champions of the hockey world. They beat the Tampa Bay Lightning 2 to nothing in Game 6 to take home Lord Stanley's Cup for the third time in six seasons. And the FBI is now investigating the St. Louis Cardinals for allegedly hacking into the computer system of the Houston Astros. That's according to the New York Times, who say the breach accessed information on trades and scouting reports.